Hey, how's it going? So we're going to be creating a... Basically what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be explaining this. Uh, if you go to Material UI, Components Menu, uh, Overview, right? And then passing data to the menu. I'm going to be explaining like lazy loading and why stuff is happening because this stuff is quite confusing. Alright, so normally the way we create um, the um, menu that opens with a button, right? First we do, we import mat menu module, just this thing here, right? Then what we do is we create mat menu, alright? So then we create our whatever button, let's say, uh, I don't know, menu one, and then we do menu two. Menu two, right? Now we need to add a mad, mad um, menu item. This is how we tell material UI that this is going to be part of the menu item. So now, now it has been created, right? And it's not visible because by default it's not visible, right? Because you have to trigger it with something. So now we're gonna create a trigger button, okay? Show me, right? Now the next thing we do is we need to create a, a template variable, uh, my menu let's just call it my menu and then we bind it this is very important to mat menu directive so this is literally what you do you create a template variable this is kind of out of the box or not out of the box this is what you do yourself this is custom and then equals mat menu that's a directive that's built into this mat menu thing right so now you need to trigger it and the way to trigger it is you use this thing here which is basically mat menu trigger for directive, right? And you assign it to your template variable. Okay. So now you see, now we have the button. When we click the button, the menu pops up. This thing pops up. All right. I know it's a little bit confusing because I mean it's Angular. In Angular, everything is confusing. Right, so okay, so now here's a bit of a problem, right? Well, it's not a problem, but I mean, <sighs> now, although the menu, this menu here, is not technically visible, it still exists, it's still loaded, right, into the data. Okay. Okay. So this takes up memory, whatever, right? So there is a technique. It's called lazy loading, right? So that means that we will not load this by default, but only load when you click this button, right? So the way to do that is very simple. You wrap up your menu items. So anything with a menu item you wrap up inside ng template, right? Now, the reason why you do that is because ng template does not load by default, right? So these items are not gonna be loaded by default because they are inside ng template. And because we're using material UI, we have to put this thing here. It's called mat menu mat menu content okay so now this is called lazy loading now effect is going to be identical right to the standard one the difference is that these are not taking up any space in your performance or whatever your machine right because they are not loaded until the button is clicked right so this is what's called lazy loading it's the same with functions. Functions are called lazy because function sits there and does nothing until someone calls it. So when you call it, it starts to do work, 
right? Other than that, it just sits and does nothing. This is called lazy in programming, right? So again, to make your menu lazy, it only loads, it only loads into the data um, when you click it, wrap it inside ng template and put math menu content. Okay. Okay, so now the final step, final step, right, is we want to be able to pass some information. Um, so this is this step here. Now it took me a bit of time to figure this one out, right? So we want to, so for example, we want to say log off and then Sally. Log off, Bob, all right? So the way to do that, the way to do that, All right, so let's say... So we need to create two buttons then, right? Because both buttons now... Um, so both buttons have the same thing. When you click them, they display the menu. All right, because they have the same function. Every button, when you click, will display this. Okay, so we're gonna call this uh, John, and this will be Mary. Okay, so again, these are the same buttons. You click on them, they display, they do exactly the same thing. The only difference is the name is different, alright? So now, how do we pass John and into, and we call this, let's say, log off. Log off. So how do we pass John into here, right? So when you click on John, John appears here. When you click on Mary, Mary appears here. Now, obviously the easiest way to do it would be probably through a um, variable. And through a function, most likely. Like the easiest way probably to do it would be on click event uh, that will assign a variable um, yeah I think the easiest way to do it would be let me let me try to do it this way um, I think click be like this um, show name and then we will do what are we gonna do we're gonna do John right so then we're gonna do click. Then we're gonna do Mary. So now we are going to. Now I'm testing. I have not done it this way before. So I'm just testing to see if it's going to work. So now we're gonna do show me, show name. It's gonna be name, or oh, whoopsie, name any this variable name is name. So whatever comes up in here is gonna be assigned to variable name. So we're gonna create variable name and set it to any, I suppose. Yeah, so now we have a variable, right? Now we have a variable and this variable is gonna be set when this function is triggered, right? So now the easiest way to do is to reference this variable in here. Now I'm assuming this is going to work. Uh, variable name, right? Yeah. So you see, in theory, this should work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. You see. So you click on John, it appears John. You click on Mary, it appears Mary. Right. So this is kind of like the easiest, the easiest way to do it, right? Now, but because they want to use this material trigger mumbo jumbo. Right, there is a second way to do it. So we're gonna do it their way, right? So we're gonna delete this, delete this, and delete this. Now, honestly, because the my method works, this feels like a total waste of time. But I mean, I'll do it anyway. Okay, so what are we gonna be using? Again, we are using this shite. This thing here 
is going to be the trigger data. So when you click this button, or whatever the hell, yeah, when you click this button, this data is going to get triggered. All right, so we change this to whatever, John. And then let's add something extra. Let's say uh, job folder, right? Again, we copy this. It's called math menu trigger, blah, 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 whatever, right? Put it in here. So this is going to be our Mary. And this is going to be our... So job is going to be... Um, HR, right? Human resources. Okay. Okay. So this... When somebody clicks, this object gets attached to ng template. Okay. So the way it gets attached is you create a local variable. So let my object equals okay so now this is gonna be your object right and in here is gonna be your dot notation right so this is gonna be your object if you want name you're gonna put name in here if you want job you're gonna put job in here so let's put job okay so when we'll put job right so now every time you click this thing, right, is gonna is gonna extract um, job. All right. Now here's where it gets confusing, absolutely super confusing, right? So now, you, oh, not not super confusing. So now you need to reference. So basically, now. When something gets triggered, right, based in, in theory, in theory, right, in theory, you might be able to do this. Let's see. Let's see this. So you are putting my object, maybe that name, what do you think? Will that work? No, it's not triggering anything. It's just getting confused. Let's see what happens. So this will not work because there is no... Uh, yeah, there is no pipe. We need to put a pipe for the chase. Let's see if it's going to work. No, it's not working. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is that this is absolute confusing the shit out of me, right? Basically, you cannot... Now, my object in theory is, the, is this object, okay, in here. So this variable in theory is this whatever, right? But now you have to choose, you have to choose what you want to display. Now, I haven't done um, local variables in ng-template module, so I don't really exactly know how they work. But, but, right, I know that if you put job, then job is going to appear. So now you click, you see, coder, HR, you see. So now this, my object, so this is basically the same. So this code here, my object equals job, is the same as my object dot job. Only of course it doesn't work because it's Angular, right? So you have to manually assign it from here. So if you want the name to appear, you put name. All right, so now it's gonna be John, log out John. Mary, log out Mary, right? Um, I don't know, let's put another one. So this is a job. Let's put um, status Superman. Okay. Let's put status equals oh, whoops, super lady, right? So now remember again, we want to access my object that super uh, status, right? Now we cannot do it this way because it's Angular. Uh, template, whatever variables or whatever the hell they call uh, local variables. So we have to put status in here. You see, it's even referencing it for you, right? So you can see, you see? There it is. Oh, super late, it's not done. Okay, so you see, when you click on status, it should technically show up. You see? It's referencing it. So now the guy is gonna be Superman. And the woman is going to be super lady, right? Log out Superman, log out super lady. Again, I'll just stress it one more time. That this, my, 
that name is the same ship. Only you get it done here, my object, uh, whatever name. Okay, so I hope this helps. Take care.